day four, walking the dog. And if you haven't seen day three, go back and watch it because it's a really big part of this uh, breakdown of how how things have went with this five day EEG. Breakfast, um, heading actually to work. I got a short morning. Uh, that's why I'm going in because son's in the ICU um, or uh, else I'd probably not be going in. Um, the ICU stays only precautionary on their behalf though. Like I said in part three, the uh, the whole reason why they went to the ICU is for their own, um, you know, safety measures based on his risk level. Um, we handle all the same stuff that he went through with the seizure at home by ourselves. So we never put him in, you know, the intensive care unit. <laughs> except it's our own personal intensive care at the house. And as you can tell, I haven't had a freaking haircut in like weeks. Uh, this last week would have been the week to do it. Couldn't get in with my barber, I guess you call her. She's actually a really good friend. Um, and then, you know, this week, obviously, it's been pretty hard on the family with the EEG and, you know, everything especially on court with my wife. So no time to go get a haircut. But anyway, heading into work and then uh, I'll be going straight to the hospital after that, taking the dog with me to uh, work. And then I'm actually gonna drop uh, him off at the fun dog place. Nice shot, dude. All right, let's go right over to the lake. Camper, he's thrown up twice. Hey, bud. Yeah, anger monkeys. Go. Hey, bud, what you doing? You really like that? <laughs> and he'll be like this for the rest of the day. And he's five. So this is very, very hard to carry around. But we love him. So. What are you doing, man? This is what rescue meds do to them, especially if we had Anavan. Yay! We just got all the things off his head. All the wires are gone. You happy or not? See, I'm happy. See, it's all, all the sticky you stuff. Find it? Top of his head, side of his head. Okay, all right. Yep, they're all connected. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, they're gone now though, huh? Yeah, we're gonna get to go home soon. Yep, but he's still not the happiest camper. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Look at him, he's got his IV off. And everything's getting packed up. And now, here we go. Done with the five day EEG, turned out to be a four day EEG. And out of the elevator we will go. See people staring at us, watch. Oh, nope. Go ahead. Can you go or no? There he goes. Yay. We're out of here. Heading home. Done, completed. Give you guys the conclusion wrap up when we get home. Say, all right, I'm out of here. Feel good. Okay, one last thing. I know I said it was over, but if you're gonna do a five day EEG, you might wanna try and shave your kid's head or shave your head before you do it because if you have long hair it is really hard for them to get him attached and we shaved his head right before we did it and look at what it left 
Look at what it left. All these little marks in his head, including one bad one right here, that red one. Yeah, he's not liking it very much, but yeah, so might want to shave their head. That's my best advice when it comes to uh, how that's going to actually end up looking or feeling for the kid because it's hard to get them on there. You know, it sucks to pull them off, but it's really bad when they're, when they're like my son. He just doesn't like anybody messing with his head and they put him on there. It's like a battle royale. I couldn't get it on video because I was actually one of the people holding him down. So, Okay, wrapping up day four of the five-day EEG. Um, actually, we ended up only doing four days. They got um, an extremely long seizure, like I said in the last episode, 31 minutes long. And uh, it caught basically that his seizures are coming from the back right of his brain. And uh, that's actually what's been going on. When he had got the EEG connected, they had been watching over his uh, brain activity. And that was where the brain activity was the most like volatile the entire time. And then it tended, and then that's actually where it started. And it actually, when it subsided, it was all coming from that area. So, um, the next step, and this is where you might find some value in this, is when you do something like that, what our conversation was with the neurologist was, you go from that and then possibly to another EEG where they actually have to screw in these little pins and put wires that are like right above the brain go just just through the skull and um, it's going to be in specific spots where they think it's going to be more likely that he's going to have he or she will have a seizure and then they do the exact same thing so except they need four or five seizures to get the exact spot so you're going to be in the hospital as long as you need to be to get those four or five seizures and that was a pretty devastating thing to hear because we didn't really want to have to do that that's a brain surgery type thing before he would even get brain surgery uh and it's a process a, a lot longer process um you know where there's boards and um different people get together and actually make these decisions uh what would be the best uh way of care for the child and so actually since court seizures are a little bit more like infrequent, we're probably gonna go with a VNS option and then see how he does. So over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be discussing how that will go. And uh, both neurologists that we've sp spoken to after this seem to be pretty positive about that could be a good, a good option for court, so. That's how our five day EEG went. Turned out to be four days. Didn't see the value of doing any longer uh, than neurologists and ourselves. Um, court's pretty much hanging out. Hey buddy. See his eyes, he's not quite recovered from his meds yet. Usually takes him a good two days. Once he is, he'll be playing around and having more fun. Till then he's just gonna be kind of fussy in a lounge a lounge basket what are you doing he doesn't like keeping his hme on he'll just throw it or chew on it so anyway thanks for watching uh subscribe if you like fitness channel specific stuff that's what i usually do um or any updates on what we're doing for courts treatment i'll try and put it on this channel as well um like the video and share it with any of anybody that you think special needs or uh, epilepsy going through these type of issues, especially families or parents that just don't quite know what it's gonna look like and are nervous about the situation. Um, this is a four part series. So if you haven't seen three, especially part three, but obviously one, two, day one, day two, um, kind of break down how it's all going. And then day three really kind of blew everything up. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.